Hi, my name is Caitlin Valavik Moore, and I'm the piccolo and utility flute player for the Utah Symphony. I started playing the flute in sixth grade, um, my elementary school. Uh, that's when we started, and I had to pick an instrument, and the reason I chose the flute was that my sister played it, and I thought it was a beautiful instrument. And then later, more into my high school time, I started playing piccolo a little bit more. It's kind of um, showing up in band music, and I think it was either suggested or I volunteered to do it. Um, in 10th grade, I was at a public school, um, the Traverse City High School in Michigan. And then I went to the Interlochen Arts Academy for my final two years of high school. And it was a great experience. And I do remember um, a great piccolo playing memory from that time, um, doing Lincolnshire Posey with the band and playing piccolo. And there's a really lovely uh, solo in there. And it was one of those times where it just felt fun and natural and something that I really enjoyed doing. High school, that was my first kind of moment where I realized I didn't mind the piccolo and that's kind of something that seems to be how you start if you don't mind doing it. It's, then you kind of do it more, I think, a little bit. Um, in college, I played it a bit and in my senior year of college, I was fortunate to be able to purchase a high quality instrument. And that kind of made it more fun to play and I got uh, more experience kind of playing some good repertoire on piccolo at that point in my senior year. After graduate school, I was a member of the Civic Orchestra of Chicago and also played some really great piccolo parts there. So that was kind of crucial to me feeling like this was something that I enjoyed doing and was fun and exciting. Piccolo's role in the orchestra is, the kind, it's kind of there to add color and sparkle to the line. Um, it does get to be a soloist at times. Um, there's some gorgeous, gorgeous solos, especially um, Shostakovich. His symphonies are just fabulous writing for the piccolo. And as a piccolo player, we always, you know, any, any of us always say that we wish Shostakovich would have written a piccolo concerto, because, I mean, his writing is just expressive and beautiful and challenging and amazing. He really knew how to orchestrate the piccolo, so it really shines. The piccolo, it's really truly there. It's an extra voice. It's on top. It kind of sings on top of the woodwinds or the entire orchestra. It also pairs um, with other instruments. Composers put it a lot with uh, some percussion. Sometimes you have, and you always, you know, trumpet, you have, there's cello in the Mother Goose Suite. And you, so you, you're kind of always adding, you're an extra voice with a lot of different people. It's a beautiful lyrical instrument as well as adding flash to you know, technical passages. There are not tons of special effects for the piccolo, but uh, we have flutter tongue. It's where you're rolling your R. Basically, you roll your tongue like you're rolling your R. Uh, so one of the things that I love about playing in an orchestra is being part of something amazing. The texture, the sound of the group is just beautiful, and being able to fit into that and add to it either you know, as the solo voice on top or fitting into the texture is just something special, and it's... Um, it's just something that I love and feel so fortunate to be able to do as my job. One of the things that I find so great about music is that it has the ability to speak to your emotions, to what you're feeling. Um, it can be relaxing, it can be energizing, it can get your blood flowing, listening to um, you know, Ride of the Valkyries or um, the, there's a movement in Shostakovich 8 that just, you know, you don't necessarily want to be driving at that moment. Um, it can recall a memory for you. It can, it can just transport you wherever, wherever you want to go. This solo um, 
is from Shostakovich's Symphony No. 6. It's one of our um, most asked for excerpts. If you're going to do a piccolo audition, you're going to play this excerpt. <laughs> 